Facebook Reels for business pages. Do they work? Are they worth it? In this video, I'm gonna walk through whether you should spend your time on them or not to help you decide, as well as walk through step-by-step -step how to create a Facebook Reel for your business page. All right, let's get into it. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed business owners streamline their social media to get more results, more buyers, reach more people with less work. If that sounds like something you'd like in your business, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each time we release another helpful video. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And in this video, we are talking about Facebook Reels for business pages. Do they work? And the short answer is yes. Yes, they do work, but let's talk a little bit more about why, and then I'm gonna also walk you through how to create a reel for your Facebook business page, and also some things that you should know if you've already created reels for Instagram, or if you have a TikTok account, you've posted TikTok videos, which are similar, some things you need to know specifically about reels for business pages, okay? So do they work? Well, the overall idea of Facebook reels, Instagram reels, TikTok videos, uh, they're actually designed to be shown to people who aren't following you. So what happens is when you open any of these apps and you start watching them, you're actually more likely to see something from somebody that you're not following. Basically, the algorithm on each platform is trying to show you the most entertaining videos possible in that moment so you will watch forever and ever and ever. Now, I know this video is about Facebook, but it was TikTok that kind of really got this going, and that's why they have been so successful with it. So when you are creating a reel, the great news with a business page is it will actually help you reach people that aren't following you. And before, it was almost impossible to reach somebody who wasn't already following you on a Facebook business page. The only way to do it, really, is if somebody shared your posts or if you spent money. So this is great news for those of us with Facebook business pages. The other thing I think it's important to know about Facebook Reels and all of these types of videos is they are entertainment focused. Now that doesn't mean you have to be a magician or a comedian or anything like that, but you do want to think about how to present your content in an entertaining or informative way. Because when somebody is holding that device, as soon as they're bored, I mean, it's not even like you know scrolling to a whole nother post, it's literally a tiny flick of the, the finger and they're gone immediately. So just to give you an idea of how well Reels are working for Facebook business pages as of this recording, one of my members in my Streamliners Club uh, coaching program, Janetta, just started throwing up actually videos she already had on Reels, and all of a sudden her video views went up, I think it said 4,000% or something like that. And she was reaching all these new people. She also started getting actually new clients from it because her stuff was getting seen and she's really good at what she does. So after she shared that with me, I threw up a reel on a Facebook business page that I have. And this one has, I think uh, it's not gigantic. It's like 1100 followers. And that first reel reached over 7,000 people and had 5,000 engagements. So 5,000 engagements on this one video. Now, will this last? We don't know. It might be that because of right now, at this moment in time, Reels are you know, the thing and Facebook's looking for Reels and that's why they're doing so well. So I would, I would expect that the, uh, the, the, the success of these will dwindle a bit over time. But just to give you an idea, that same business page with 1,100 followers was reaching an average of, I don't know, 400 people per post for the posts before that. So it went from 400 to 7,000 reached. So even if it dropped down to 2,000 or 1,000 reached, that's still pretty great. And that's why I think Reels are a great idea for business pages. So let's look at how to create one. So as of this recording, it's mobile only to upload Reels to a Facebook business page. And it's only in the regular Facebook app. So I open Creator Studio. The option's not here in Creator Studio or in Facebook Business Suite. So if I scroll down on my business page under Create a Post, you can see it says Photo, Create Story, and then Reel is the third option there. So I'm gonna go ahead and tap that. First go into the screen, you're gonna see what your camera sees. And on the lower right-hand corner, you can switch between the rear-facing and the front-facing camera, depending on what you're looking for. So first, I want to give a quick overview. Up on the upper left corner, you see that X. That's exactly what you would expect it to be. That would be to close this out if you didn't want it. The lightning bolt is if you want to turn on a flash or a light when you are filming your video. The three dots on the right is actually, you know, potentially for a future menu. Right now, it's just if you wanted to report a bug. That's the only thing in there as of this recording. Next up is audio, and this is where you can add music 
to your videos. Now, it's interesting to see because they have a lot of commercial music options in here. Montel Jordan, Michael Buble, Pharrell, Mariah Carey, Drake. But if you ever think you might want to turn this into a boost in the future, if they let us do that, you won't be able to do it with commercial music in there. So just something to keep in mind when you are looking to decide. So you can search for music terms at the top, depending on what you are looking for. You can also hit browse, which you can choose by all these different categories. You can see weekend, birthday, date night, movie soundtrack, workout, and then different music genres. You can also scroll across here and see these same categories. And when you find something you really like that you think you might use over and over again, you can save it and then it shows up here under this saved audio tab. Next on the right is speed. So if you want your clip to be played back extra fast or extra slow, you can see you've got a whole range of speed that you can switch to. You just tap where you want it to go. We'll just leave it at 1x for now. Next up is effects. So when you tap that, you'll notice here at the bottom, a bunch of different effects come up. And so you can see as I swipe through these, Different things will happen to your videos. This one's got snow, but it's obviously designed to be working with a face, which I don't have on the screen right now. So you can scroll through and play with different effects there at the bottom. If you don't want any effects, X out of that, so it returns to the main record button, and then you can X out of effects up there by tapping on it again. Timer is if you're trying to record a very specific length of something. So sometimes when people are making a reel, they're trying to have it be 10 one second clips, for example. So you can go in here and by default, it'll let you record up to 30 seconds, but you might wanna only record one second, for example. And so then you would scroll that red glider over to there. So it, now it says one second, okay? And then above that, you have a countdown and that's what it'll count you down before you start recording. So for example, I'll just leave it at three seconds, but you have a three second and a 10 second option. I hit that. Now I'm gonna hit the record button on the bottom center and hold it down. Three, two, one. So that's the countdown that it then gives. And then underneath timer is green screen. So green screen is fun because you can basically, it'll sense you if you're in the shot and you can put yourself other places. So you can go through and click on different backgrounds. And then if, you know, as long as you're, what you're wearing is different enough from what's in the background, then it'll actually place it there. So there you go, now I've flipped it around and as you can see, I am at a beautiful beach somewhere. So if you wanted to use a video you've already shot, you can find them down there. And if you want to go deeper into your camera roll to find more stuff, you can either tap this last box on the right here, opens up your camera roll, or you can tap down in the lower left corner and the same thing will happen like that. So that's everything that's on the screen when you start. If you don't want the camera roll showing there, you can tap the little down arrow above that and it'll hide it. You can tap that up arrow if you wanna bring it back. And then when you're ready to start recording, you just hold down the record button as long as you wanna record. Now, if in the timer section, you told it to stop after one second or eight seconds, then it will automatically cut off then. But otherwise it will record up to 30 seconds as long as you have your, uh, your finger on the record button. So I've just loaded a video in here and this is what it would look like after you recorded a video. I figured it'd be more fun to use something from my camera roll than uh, me sitting here in the office. And so now you see the options on the right have changed. So let's go through each of those. The top one is still music. So if you tap that and you wanted to add music afterward, down below, you'll see the blue button says add music. I can tap that and again, select from the songs that I want to use. I'm not gonna click on any of them because I don't have the rights to play them in this YouTube video, but if you click the play button, it'll give you a preview of the song. And when you're ready to select it, you can just tap on the song title itself. Comes up like this, and then you can use your finger to scroll back and forth to choose different parts of the song. Again, you can't hear it here in this video, but you will hear it in the Facebook app. And then those little stars up above uh, the timeline there, those are the ones that are the most popular sections that people use. So you can tap through and select those. Below that, you can tap add voiceover and it will actually let you record a narration instead. So you can hold down the record button and here I am, I'm out on a hike on a beautiful sunny day. So you can see it just added it to that part. When I took my finger off the record button, it paused. Now I can push it down again and do some more. And you can see more in the reflection in my sunglasses or whatever I might say in there. When you're all set, hit done. If you wanted to go back and edit any of that, you could hit the music icon again. And these sliders here 
are all about how you want everything to sound. So this top one is the original audio that was recorded when I made this video. There's nothing in the middle because we didn't add music. I took that music out. And then this bottom one is the, the voiceover. So if I wanted the voiceover really loud and I wanted the background noise a little quieter, then I can adjust those exactly how I want them. If I didn't want the voiceover anymore, I can just hit edit and hit that undo button. It'll say, do you want to delete it? Yep. Then hit it again for the second clip and they're both gone. Finally, if you wanted to mute your background audio, you can hit that blue mute section there and it'll automatically mute it in one click. Next under that is text. You see the uppercase and the lowercase a, so I tap that. And in here you can start typing. I won't go too deep into it, but this is where you might add a caption or directions or titles or anything like that. And then down here, if I tap the color one, I can change the colors up. If I tap this uh, A with the box around it, I can make it have a box or not have a box. I can tap that next section to center it or justify it left or right. And then where it says headline, this is different styles that you can use. So you can scroll through those and decide which one you like the best. So we'll just go ahead and put the word caption there at the top in the sky to start. Now I wanna show you one other thing about this while we're in here. At the top, there's a little tiny clock that just showed up at the very top of the video when I clicked back into the caption. So if I tap on that, now I can decide where I want that to show up. So for example, if I only wanted it in the beginning over the blue sky, I can use my finger to drag this and then when I scroll down, goes into the mountain, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna let go of it. Now it's gone. So same thing, you can move it around where only have it on certain parts of the video. Next up below that, the smiley face, these are more filters. So you can go through and add filters and effects and different things like that. Uh, depending on what your video is, it will turn out very, very differently but you can scroll through and play with those. Next up is closed captions. Very strong idea to use these. Over 80% of the people watching videos on Facebook do not have sound on. So you can hit that closed caption button and it'll actually transcribe what you say in your video. Now, I chose this video that doesn't have any sound, but if there was one, it would come up. You can scroll through different font styles at the bottom, and then you can also edit the captions by typing that edit button if they're not fully accurate and you really wanna make sure that they are. Now, most of the time I just let them go. I say it's close enough. Also up at the top, you can change the color of the captions by hitting the little color circle, as well as the style of the captions by hitting that box with the A and the stars in it. Finally, at the bottom, if you use TikTok or Instagram stories or Facebook stories, that bottom icon is your stickers. So in here, you've got all of these different stickers that you can choose from and put on there, the time, the temperature. There's also GIFs, you can search GIFs, as well as emojis. So I just searched Reels, and now I can see there's all these different uh, GIFs I can use. So I'm gonna tap this new Reel one. Once it's on the screen, I can put my finger on it and hold it and move it around. I can also pinch and make it bigger or smaller. And if you decided you didn't want a GIF or anything like that, you can hold on it and drag it down and you'll see a trash can appear. And just like that, it's gone. Now you can record more than one clip too. So I can hold this down and I'm filming my cup here. Very exciting, right? And I let go. Now that clip has shown up at the bottom of the screen. See under the record button? Then I can come at it from another angle and I can record again, same thing. Now that shows up at the bottom of the screen. You can see it has a little bit of little tiny two on it. If you can see that on the screen that you're watching on. And when you do that and you go to the editing screen, it has both clips back to back, but it also has one more icon on the right and that's that scissors icon. I can tap on the scissors and then down here, I can clip through and I can edit different clips. I can change the speed. I can crop it. I can reverse it. I can mirror it. So you can see now the words are backwards. So all kinds of little things that you can do and then you can also add new clips. So there's really a lot of cool stuff you can do by combining multiple videos. Once you've got your reel the way you want it, hit next. And this is pretty simple. Add a description. You don't have a lot of room to do that, but you can add a description. Most people don't read the description, so really make it four to five words at first that really count. Might make somebody watch more of the video. And then at the bottom you hit share reel and up it'll go. One more important thing to know, when you make the reel, you have to do it on a mobile device in the Facebook mobile app. But as you can see here, this is a Facebook reel on my business page and it does show up 
on a desktop computer. So now you know how to create reels for your Facebook business page. If you really want to make your Facebook business page work well for you and make it so that more of the people who see your page become followers and more importantly, buyers, then definitely check out our very cool Profitable Pages and Profiles Workshop. Hundreds of business owners, maybe thousands at this point, have implemented what I teach in this workshop into their businesses, and a lot of them see results within a day or two. Like Portia, who stayed up one night making sure her Facebook personal profile was set up the right way, and got a new lead and client the next morning. Or Jen, who used the workshop to make over her pages and profiles, and got two inquiries within 18 hours that led to over $1,000 worth of new business. But the record's got to be Tom, who set up his Facebook business page using what we teach in the workshop, hit publish, and 30 minutes later, a woman called his business to book him, and he said, where'd you hear about me? And she goes, oh, I searched on Facebook, and your page came right up. This is a way to increase sales without more posting. Worse yet, if you haven't set up your pages and profiles the right way, you could already be missing out on potential sales right now. Inside, I'm gonna show you the four essential items every page and profile needs so that visitors become buyers. And the best part, go through this process once and it will serve you for years. Now normally it's $47, but right now if you go to profitablepage.com slash YouTube, this is a special link for people on YouTube, you can get this entire workshop for only $17. Again, that's profitablepage.com slash YouTube, and of course you can also find that in the description of this video. And you know what? I'm gonna throw in a couple of bonuses as well. If you're not sure that you are on the best social network or networks for your business, I have a five-part framework that I use with people to help make sure that you're in the right place. Like, where's your content gonna perform the best? It goes so much further than just where is my audience? You need to make sure you can reach them, you can engage with them, all of those things. And I'm gonna throw that in as a bonus, as well as if you have social networks you're not posting on, as much anymore. I have a special training called How to Revive Your Abandoned Networks so that it doesn't look like you went out of business on Twitter eight years ago. You get both of those now. Again, go to profitablepage.com slash YouTube to get that special price just for YouTube viewers right now. Thank you for watching today. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home. And if you're looking for more help growing your business with social media, check out the video on the screen right now.